Hi, this is Frank Prendergast for Daily Extra. I'm here with Chris Thomas from the AIDS Committee of Toronto. Thanks for being with us, Chris. Thanks for having me. You have a new campaign here at ACT about PrEP. Can you explain that to us a bit? Sure. The campaign um, on our placards is, um, features the question, is PrEP right for me? Mm -hmm. um, and one of the objectives of the campaign was to answer some of the questions that we had been asked through our work and to supply um, some Canadian-specific information for um, people who were expressing interest in, in PrEP. Um, and so we thought it appropriate to um, do our research, do our follow-ups, and supply the answers for people in order to kind of give them the empowerment to make informed decisions about their own health. When you're talking about Canadian specifics, yeah. what's specific to the Canadian experience? So a lot of the content that we were seeing that dealt with PrEP was very much rooted in the American context, so American healthcare system, quite different from the Canadian context. Um, and so in um, whether it's regards to approval or access, right, all those things are quite different coverage. And so we thought as a corrective, it would be useful to provide um, a Canadian alternative to some of the information that was out there. In the United States, the FDA approved Truvada uh, for use as a PrEP yeah. in 2012. Here in Canada, what is the status of Truvada being used as PrEP? So currently, Truvada is approved by Health Canada for the use of HIV treatments. It is not currently approved for the use of PrEP, and that's kind of how it stands as of now. Is there a demand within the population that you serve for more information and to use PrEP? Certainly we've seen um, a lot of interest in our campaign um, from people who first came to us, but also people who maybe were a little bit shy, maybe didn't know how to ask the questions, but who are nonetheless interested in finding more um, about PrEP. We don't um, dispense PrEP ourselves, and so it's tough for us to know exactly what the demand is for actually taking um, Truvada as PrEP but we've certainly seen an uptake since our campaign launched and the people who are asking questions, who are getting answers, and generally just the expression of interest has risen. Okay, so, so say uh, someone is here in Toronto and they want to take Truvada as mm -hmm. PrEP. Um, what is the process for them? Walk us through that. We are not, um, we do not house doctors in our, in our organization, but what we would encourage people to do is to go to a physician that they trust. Hopefully it's someone who they have a relationship um, already. Um, if not, then they can go to um, a sexual health clinic, preferably over a walk-in clinic, just in terms of the level of knowledge about Truvada tends to be higher at sexual health clinics. From there, you would get a prescription to PrEP if um, your physician sees fit, and then you take it to the nearest pharmacy and have it filled. What are some of the associated risks or pitfalls of taking Truvada as PrEP off-label? Certainly the only risk that you might experience would be financial in terms of whether or not your insurance plan would cover um, the expense of Truvada, which is quite expensive as of now. So we encourage people to ask questions with regards to what their insurance covers, um, whether or not they would be covered, and to take matters into your own hands in not letting any questions that you have go unanswered. Your website, I believe, says that you, as a non-government organization, right. you're not able to put um, Truvada forward to right. be approved by Canada Health. Yeah. Um, what is your stance? Should Gilead be putting Truvada forward as a pre-exposure prophylactics? Certainly that is um, an outcome that we would support if it were to happen. We would encourage Gilead to do what they see fit. We think that a better strategy might be to empower people through giving them information and we trust the communities that we are serving to ask questions of their local decision makers and to um, get informed answers and then they could push perhaps from um, a community rooted response rather than um, led through an organization like ACT. But we certainly see ourselves as brokers of that information um, in, the, in the community that's interested. ACT seems to be pushing forward on this, but the AIDS Care Health Foundation in the U.S. It seems to be saying stop. They've taken out ads. They've been very vocal mm -hmm. in, in um, their concerns about this. How do you explain the difference? I can't speak specifically to the motivations of that particular organization. I know that our support for PrEP is rooted in scientific evidence that is suggesting that PrEP is highly effective when taken as prescribed in preventing new transmissions of HIV and seroconverting. Um, the um, kind of 
stance that has been staked out by that organization, the AHF, has seemed to promote condom usage only as a way of preventing, and it's something that we aren't necessarily seeing here. There are different options depending on who you are, what you do, and um, we think that PrEP is an important new tool in the HIV prevention toolkit, and we certainly still encourage the use of condoms, but it's something that we see as a positive, not something to be feared. Are there any numbers about number of people taking PrEP, uh, taking Truvada as PrEP? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I think it's changing so quickly and it's a new conversation that's been had in, in Toronto and, and in Canada that um, even if someone were to get a number, it would, it would change pretty quickly, I think. Okay, well, um, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's great.